哈哈哈哈哈哈！哦，我是嘉兴。Hello, everyone. To the Mad Lion Rational Commission, Ken Community Episode 19. Yeah, woo! So, ladies and gentlemen, today's episode we're gonna see a brand new character man because it was actually teased from last episode, of course. Because, dude, I've been told that this character in this episode today should be a very, very fun character to enjoy. I mean, actually, a lot of people are actually looking forward to him too. So, oh my god, can't wait for that because, well, you can say last episode was basically peak Komi-san fan service man because seeing how she just came and took care of Tanokun when he's sick, making eat some food and hold his hand that was just like oh my god dude there is a sign that these two are meant for each other man but we should see when will they confess the feelings of that in the future of course but with that said though let's get started with today's episode shall we Oh, oh, so this is a carry over from the last part from the last episode oh she's so embarrassed man <laughs> i love that face oh she keep on thinking about kind of good no Yes, this is peak, everyone. This is peak. <laughs> He's writing a letter to Najimi. <laughs> oh, oh my god, this is so wholesome. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh man, call me son, man. You are just so fun to watch. He's gonna break character anytime. So there we go. <laughs> oh man, Komi-san. Oh, okay. Seems like she did indeed wrote a letter. Oh, oh, busted, busted. Um, <laughs> oh man. Oh, Tanakun, hello. <laughs> Oh my god, she is so talky talky from last episode. This is just so good. Wait, what? No, don't imagine that, please. Oh, what the hell? You're overreacting, seriously. No, no, no. He's just pa over panicking over how he's supposed to deal with Komi san visiting him. So, yeah. And so we continue where we left off. Oh, okay, he's POV before he came to school. <laughs> he... Oh man, you just know she just wants to know more about what happened. <laughs> Dude, it's not your imagination, okay? She did come, okay? You just... Dude, just ask her already, for God's sake. Like, don't get too embarrassed about it. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> yes. Wait, what? Oh, come on. Seriously? Oh, wow. Komi-san, this is so adorable, man. <laughs> oh, there we go. The new boy for the series that everyone kind of hyped up for. So he's a narcissist. Well, fair enough, I guess. Oh my god, he's that, he's that character, isn't it? Oh my god, this is going to be a, a very fun character to watch. Justin Bieber! <laughs> Just stop Justin Bieber! <laughs> oh, oh, oh wow, what a stylish look. Dude, no one paying attention to you. <laughs> I mean, anyone would, but except for Tanro Kun, of course. Dude, is he narrating him or something? Like, seriously, what the hell are these two? Oh, he's after Komi-san. Okay, fair enough. Oh my god, really? Seriously, you gonna, you're gonna go for that? Just to get too close to her? Oh, oh, ho ho, whoa, what a bump. Oh, oh, ho ho ho, ho. what the fuck? Oh my god, what the hell are they doing? Like trying to prevent him from getting to Komisa or something? Oh my god, no, no, no. They're not a fan of you. No one's a fan of you. Except for your fucking narrator. Oh, oh yeah, my. Hello. Whisper of death. Whisper of death. <laughs> Don't get close to Komisa. They're trying to protect her from him, indeed. 
Damn, this should be enough to like demotivate him to get closer to Komi-san then. Oh my god, and like everyone finding ways to like prevent him from getting to Komi-san. Like what the fuck man, seriously. <laughs> like are they trying to prevent a narcissist getting close to Komi-san or something? Like she's too pure for someone like him? Oh my god, dude, dude, like come on. He just want to just get close to her, man. Oh, Komi-san, hello. Oh, of course, so kind of her to return her his handkerchief. And finally, he's enlightened. Oh, it took him long enough. Oh, my misunderstanding 101 again. Ay, ay, ay. So, oh, my God. What the f Jesus Christ, this guy, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, that was dashing. And she ignored you. Sad days. Uh, <laughs> well, you are kind of good. Exchange number with him. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, what the fuck? Seriously? Well, I guess they are preparing a school trip to Kyoto. The most generic location for any anime school trip things. I mean, they live in Tokyo, so it kind of makes sense why they had to go to Tokyo Kyoto for the historical sightseeing reasoning. Why is Najimi sleeping? Like, he got bored or something? Wait, game center? <laughs> okay, she wants to go to King Kakujin. Oh, fair enough. Oh! Oh! Ho 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 ho! Did you just say Ojijan to piss her off like that? Okay, seems like Komi-san quite experienced with going to Kyoto then. Oh, maybe Tarakun saw something through Komi-san's actions, why she seems quite down and worried. Okay. Hmm, I'm not sure though. I feel like Komi-san is hiding something from Tarakun or something. Something to do with her past. Oh, oh of course, Komi-san, what are you up to now? Okay, so there's a bit of stuff going on that she didn't want to tell Takun, now she's telling him. Oh, okay, she haven't been to Kyoto, so what's the reason? Oh, shoot, so she was all by herself, no one would like team up with her and stuff like that. Oh my god, so she wasn't able to communicate with anyone around and she couldn't like make friends to go around oh so she can't look in the face because she's too shy and she's too you know you know just like narrow vision you know what i mean so she's basically worried and this is basically her trauma in the past that she don't want to repeat that's why she was kind of worried oh ho -ho, my god okay Okay, I gotta say, this is sad, man, because she, one, she just don't have the confidence to look at the friend's face, and of course she wants to form a group to go around, but she cannot do all that because of her communication problem, so she decided not to go for the sake of her own, like, mental health, so yeah. It's sad, actually. It's very sad that you had to, like, drop out of school trip because you couldn't, like, make, go around with your friends and your classmates. Uh, but this time she can because she has friends now. Exactly, right? Tarukun, you have Tarukun, right? He'll go with you. Hey, you said it. You said it. <laughs> and Najimi, too, of course. You have you, Tarukun. You are there for her now. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, she's worried about his chance of going on a school trip. Oh, uh, oh, there's two of them. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh, is she saying okay? Let's go together as the two of. Them. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay, seems like she is going, but is it 
the two of them or go as a class hmm this should be a very interesting school trip man can't wait for it and of course everyone want to team a komi-san might just go as a, a whole class into one location oh shit it's a raffle draw it's a raffle draw oh ho, 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 ho. Well, okay, today's episode, well, except for the Narcissus part episode, of course, well, we can say today's episode was kind of special though, because we actually get to know a bit more about Komi-san's past, like in terms of her trauma of not able to go on a proper school trip because she had to turn it down because of her, you know, social situation, I guess. But yeah, it's nice to see the fact that she's now, she's very open to Tanukun. Like she noticed something, something she keep inside. And not just that, though, Tanukun actually saw through it too, man. He saw that komi is suffering and he actually mentioned it to her that she was able to like let it out. So that shows that she's very, very comfortable around Tanukun to expo to tell him about her story, of course. So that shows that these two are are indeed getting closer and closer together now and of course you can also see the fact that komi-san spoke longer than usual man she actually spoke longer than usual because you can just tell that this is some a big part of her life that she misses out and she wants to make sure that she really experienced this so like you know events that she never she never get to experience so i'm happy for tano kun able to give her the confidence to really how to say be more be more how to say positive in terms of allowing people to like come to you and ask you to join the group because dude komi-san you got a lot of friends now you got tanukun with you and i would like the fact how tanukun say oh let's go together and stuff like that but maybe in the next episode if he draws with komi-san that would be a fun part to see of course but still though i gotta say to this episode we get to see a new character yeah it's a very interesting stylish narcissist boy nothing really much to say other than people hate him and don't want him to get close to komi-san but also we get to know a bit more about komi-san past so that is a really win-win for us of course so next episode is the school trip and i just can't wait to see what sort of wholesome stuff we're gonna have for it so with that said hope you guys enjoy my reaction smash the button and i'll see you guys next time